I'm going to show you now how to install an exterior zipper pocket for your pouch. What you will need for this is one of your exterior pieces. You will need a zipper or zipper by the yard with the pull installed. I have my piece cut to nine and three quarters of an inch. You will also need your fleece that you were using um, cut already per the plain pouch video and you will need a, another piece cut to the size of a sheet of paper of lining fabric interfaced if you're using a fabric that needs interfacing. So the first thing to do is to trim your fleece. So the fleece was cut to seven and a half by 10 with the corners cut out of the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the top make room for our zipper so we're going to cut two inches off the top here and that will become the fleece for our bottom piece and we're also going to trim this by half an inch so we will have the smaller piece with the corners cut out and then the top bit that we just cut off is now 10 by one and a half inches. So you have those two bits and this is garbage. The next thing to do is take your exterior piece, the way that you want it, this is facing up and I'm going to slice it into two pieces, cutting two inches off the top there. Okay. So you have now got, that's your exterior, exterior top, exterior bottom, your fleece, and your fleece. So now what we're going to do is fuse the fleece to these two pieces here. You can trim this down a little bit more if you want to, but this is not very thick, so that's going to go through my machine just fine. So I'm going to go and apply the fleece to these two pieces on the back. Now you have interfacing applied to the back of your top and bottom exterior pieces. The next thing we need to do is grab some scraps of your exterior print or coordinating print that are about one and a half inches squared and we're going to put them on the ends of our zipper. So I sandwich the zipper in between like so, and then I'm going to go across to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew straight across the edge here and then fold it back out and top stitch. So I will attach both of those tabs with clips. Remembering that a nylon zipper you can sew over the top of carefully. You cannot sew over a metal zipper though. So if you're using a metal zipper, you're gonna have to remove some teeth. So that's clipped on either side. I'm gonna go and sew those on now. So what we're going for is a zipper end that is top stitched here that will be on the front of our bag and these open ends will be caught in the seam allowance so the way that you do that is as I sh showed you over there you do right sides facing sandwiching your zipper and we're going to sew down this side here with a quarter inch seam allowance slowly over the zipper. I like to back stitch over the zipper to make it a little more secure. Okay, and then fold your tabs out like this, and then I will top stitch down here. And 
that will give you your tab sewn on and then repeat on the other side. So you will have two. And then we take this back over to put in our pocket. Now we need to mark the center of this zipper. I don't line up the edges here. Instead, I line up the seams in case my tabs, since I use scraps, are not exactly the same. So line up the edge of the tabs, the inside edge of the tabs there. And I just mark the center the same Oops, on the other side. And then you want to mark the center of your pouch. And then decide which way you want your zipper to go. I will have mine opening from this side that way. So you want to place it face down, line up your marks. You can use double-sided tape if you don't want or you can use clips. Your tab does extend a little further than your zipper. That is okay. That's just so that it, there's no fraying. Any fraying is out in your seam allowance. So clip along both ways, both sides, all the way to the end. You can sew along here now as a basting stitch and then do your pocket. I'm gonna do it all at once. So take your pocket lining piece and it's going to go this way. So you wanna put the right side of the pocket face down, right sides together with the exterior and actually it's probably worth marking the center of that too to line it up with the center mark on your zipper there. And I'm going to sew this at a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to fold it back around and I'm going to top stitch. So it'll get folded back around like that and top stitch down to hold it down. All right, let's head over to the machine. So I'm sewing these three layers together at a quarter of an inch. My zipper pull is right here, so when I get close, I'll slide it out of the way. is attached there. I'm going to fold it around, finger press down, and then I'm going to sew down here, top stitching that zipper and sewing the lining down. Alright, 
and now we will sew the top part. Now I'm going to sew the pocket in place and sew the top part of the exterior on. So with the bag front facing down, I will fold this pocket up and then I will clip it along the upper edge of the zipper, making sure that my sides are nice and lined up. zipper there and then take your upper piece whichever way you are having it go and then put that face down on top of your zipper making sure again that your edges are lined up these excess bits of the tabs will get trimmed off when we trim this piece down to size keep that zipper pull out of the way as best you can now you can see that that piece of fleece there is a little big. It will be in that seam there, but it's the fleece is so thin it won't be a problem. But that's um, why I suggested if you wanted to, you could trim that piece just maybe a quarter of an inch shorter. So now we're going to sew along here, sewing the three lays together. Then we'll fold that up to top stitch, and then we'll just have to trim it down to size, and that will be our exterior pocket done. So back over to the machine quarter of an inch seam allowance again sewing through the three layers the upper part of the exterior the zipper and then the upper limit of the pocket one quarter of an inch plenty of room next to the zipper there but just watch out for that pull when you get to it mine is right there slide it out of the way it gives you a nice even seam next to your zipper too just top stitch along here it's a little thicker because of that fleece there in the seam allowance seam allowance away from the zipper so that you catch that in your top stitching. thing that we need to do is trim this down to the correct so grab your trusty piece of paper this will be perhaps a little taller so I like to line up the bottom the reason it's a little bit taller is depending on the width of your zipper so line that up and then you can just trim it down to the right size I like to check it on my grid too just to make sure so that's a little bit crooked there so just lining that up there so you want to be eight and a half so I can see that this is where I need to trim double check it by looking at my mat here eight and a half and then I'm just going to slice that little bit of the top off along the sides here. Just up there. Then this is ready to install into your pouch, replacing one of the plain exterior panels. Something that is useful to do too is to just do a basting stitch along the edge here 
of your pocket just to keep that nice and flat when you're sewing the rest of your patch together. So I would just baste an eighth of an inch that will be inside the seam allowance so that that will make it um, more easy. So make it easier to install into your exterior and you just treat it as one plain piece. Thanks everyone.